Hello you guys and welcome to our little taste test of the Harney and Sons holiday teas. So today we're gonna try, what does this say here? Black tea with fruit and nut. And we're also gonna try the holiday spiced black tea. And we're also gonna try the gingerbread festival tea. And these were a special gift from my student Katie and her family after our Christmas studio recital this year. And I also have a special banana bread muffin that I just made. It's warm. There might be, there was like a few chocolate chips I was able to, to put in. So hopefully we'll get a, a chocolate chip <laughs> with it. And while it's brewing, I'm going to play you some Christmas carols on the harp. So let's get this started. I did heat up the my my three teapots with some hot water before this. So what we're in here is my hot water over here. So what we're gonna do is start with the fruit and nut. So I'm gonna open it up. Oh, and there's a little tea bag. So that's nice. Usually we have loose tea. Oh, that smells so good. It smells um, very fresh, black tea with like berries, maybe. Let's see. Um, well, let me get it started and then we can talk about what um, what's in it. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in. Whoops because I have to make sure I have enough water for all three of these teas. So we'll do like a half, maybe. Rather than eight ounces, we'll do maybe like an eyeball four ounces. So there's that one. Pop the lid back on this. I hope you're all doing well, by the way. You guys getting in the Christmas spirit? Here is the holiday spiced blend spiced black tea oh and this one this one does smell very spicy it's like um i'm just terrible with it says cloves vanilla almond cinnamon orange oh my goodness so that is gonna go in here and once again just gonna fill that up maybe four ounces or so I know you can't really see what I'm doing. Just hang in there with me, bear with me. <laughs> okay, get to that one. And lastly, we have this gingerbread festival tea. And I'm interested in this one. I mean, I'm interested in all of them, but oh my gosh. That smells amazing. It, it definitely does smell like gingerbread. Um, I was worried that it would be kind of like too gingery, but it's, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'll, I'll you know, explain all of those, the notes in a moment, but let me just get these all started. Give them a little bit of water. By the way, the best way to make a cup of tea is you need to warm the, the teapot with hot water, swish it around. You know, just a little bit of hot water is fine. And swish it around and then immediately put in your tea bag or in your teaspoon. You can get these on Harney and Sons as well. This is like a special one cup of perfect tea serving um, teaspoon. Put a scoop in for your, for your tea and then fill it up with hot water and then you're gonna put a tea cozy all over it and time it for however long the tea requires. So let me see. I'm worried that if I put my timer on, it's gonna stop our recording. So we're not gonna put on a timer. I'm gonna just play a Christmas carol or two and then we'll, we'll give them a try. So it, because I don't have a tea cozy that will fit over all of these, I'm gonna just cover them with a tea towel. Well, there we go. Keep it nice and warm. So 
So we'll let those sit for a little bit. And let me move my hot water out of the way. And I have to tell you that on Christmas Eve day, I'm gonna go play the harp at this wonderful store, Silver Moon Antiques, um, which is my friend's store. So I've been practicing, <laughs> I've been practicing Christmas carols. So, I mean, I still have a week to practice, so I might, you know, be a little bit still rusty, but here we go. Here's some Christmas carols for you guys. start over <laughs> so anyway you see I have to practice well, let's try it again been five minutes it might have but let's give it a little bit longer I always like the tea to be nice and strong and then I can practice playing another Christmas carol for you so how about I was gonna play green sleeves but actually there's a really old Christmas carol from like the year 922 it's very old it's called good King Wenceslas I think I said that right so very old. So of course we have to play that. Okay, let's say five minutes is up. Let me pop this down here. And let's take a little look at our tea. So I'm gonna tilt you down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, voila, it's nice and warm as well. Nice and warm. So I always have my tea with a little bit of milk. So I hope that's okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of milk in each one. And hmm, I'll put this up here where we can see it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try is this Harney and Sons 
celebration tea with fruit and nut flavors. It says black tea, apricot pieces, passion plum, apricot flavor, blue cornflowers, hazelnut, and cinnamon flavors. And it says the character is capturing the magic of the seasons, especially Hanukkah. This irresistible blend is perfect for gatherings of friends and families. And it says um, brewing instructions 212, the temperature of the water boiling um, over the sachet for five minutes. Okay, there's 40 to 60 milligrams of caffeine for what that, for if anybody cares. So the Harney and Sons black tea with fruit and nut. So I'm gonna, I always put the milk in first because it just kind of mixes well with the tea. So I always do a little dash of that. And then we will, you know what, let me just give the tea bag a little wiggle. Oops, <laughs> I don't want it to fall in. There we go. Give that a little wiggle. And then give it a little pour. We're just gonna do a tiny sampling of each tea. So let's pop this back here. And I'm gonna keep the other ones warm by just doing that. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, it has a lovely fragrance. And it's very light, it's a very light tea. So it would be perfect for like the afternoon maybe. It's, or like an, a very first thing in the morning kind of tea. <laughs> um, like the pre-waking up tea or the pre-coffee tea, you know. I have a, I have like my green tea in the morning for the first couple hours and then I have my cup of coffee and then I have my breakfast and then in the afternoon I'll have either, sometimes I have a cup of coffee but a cup of tea or like, you know, with dessert, this would be lovely. It would go really well with like a little raspberry jam tartlet because it's so light or maybe some chocolate. Let's have a little bite of my banana muffin here. Doesn't that look yummy? Made by yours truly. It's nice and warm. I don't know that it goes perfectly well with that because that has such a strong flavor, but I think something with like berries would go really well with the fruit and nut tea it's lovely so let me pop this over here and all right let's go on to the holiday spiced black tea so this one says it has black tea orange peel safflowers vanilla flavor cloves almond that's lovely cinnamon and orange flavors the character is a sweet, spicy, and fruity fragrance that awakens the holiday spirit within. And it has the same, it's 40 to 60 milligrams of coffee boiled for five minutes, or um, brewed for five minutes with boiling water. So I put that in this one. So I'm gonna give it a little whiz around. So you can see it's a really light color. There we go. So once again, I'm gonna put in some milk, a little dash of milk. Isn't this nice? It's so nice to have a tea party. Thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, it actually is afternoon tea time, so you're perfectly on time. At least when I'm filming this, I should say. So I'll pour a little bit of this in. There we go. So give this a little smell. Mmm, much stronger flavor, or smell I should say, fragrance. 
Ooh, now this I think would go well with the banana muffin. It's not like a super strong black tea. It's a really light black tea, same as, as this one, but the spices with it are just kind of more warming. Let's see, I'm, I'm really getting a clove, but not too overpowering. I don't know what safflowers taste like, so I have no idea. Um, A little bit of almond, maybe a little bit of orange. I don't really taste orange much. Definitely the clove is front and center. With the black tea, so nice. So, so nice. This would go well, I mean, with like a dessert for sure. Maybe like with some chocolate. But we're going to have to eat it with my banana muffin. Mmm. I got a little bit of chocolate. Very nice. So that was the holiday spiced black tea from Hardy and Sons. And the last one we have is Hardy and Sons Gingerbread Festival. And it has black tea, ginger root, cinnamon, molasses, vanilla cloves. Like traditional gingerbread houses, the flavors of cinnamon, ginger, and molasses swirl together in this sweet and spicy blend. So exactly the same kind of brewing instructions. Boiling water, five minutes. I'm gonna give it a little, um, little tea bag moment. <laughs> And let me pop in a little bit of milk. Just a little dash. There we go. And then a little bit of the gingerbread festival tea. There we go. So. Oh, you definitely smell the the gingery um, molassesy this it, it's like probably eating gingerbread with this would be wonderful yep yeah, this would be the perfect like well I actually I think I like them all I really like the celebration tea I like that we'll go back and taste them again this is our first impression but I could I could see this like definitely with afternoon tea, like a Christmassy afternoon tea that um you know if you had some more like gingerbready, ginger snaps, what are some other kind of like stronger flavored clovey desserts? Maybe chocolate, like chocolate cake. This would go really well with chocolate cake. It's nice on its own. And this one is the, I would say the strongest one out of all of them. So should we do one more little taste test? Let me see. I can't, I need a little review. So, but what a great gift. I mean, to have all three of them. So nice. So I'm going to just go back. I'm going to try it without milk this time. This is the celebration fruit and nut. This is the one they said would be nice for Hanukkah. So just a little bit of that. Okay, let's read what the um, notes are in this one. Okay. Can you see me okay? There we go. Uh, black tea, apricot, passion plum, apricot, cornflower, I'm sorry, blue cornflowers, hazelnut, and cinnamon flavors. Apricot pieces, passion plum flavor, apricot flavor, blue corn flowers, hazelnut, cinnamon. This is like just lovely. Yeah, this one, this one's like a kind of like a perfuminess. It's just 
Mm, really nice. It's like a very feminine, fragrancy, lovely black tea. It's really nice, really elegant. Okay, and then the Holiday Black Spiced Tea. This is the one with cloves and orange peel, vanilla, almond. Yep, the clove is like front and center, orange. I think I'm getting a little bit of the orange and clove. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's definitely a lot bolder. Mm. I wouldn't describe this one as like perfumey. Like this one has a lovely perfumeness to it, and this one's much more clove clovey and. I guess orange and almond eats lovely, stronger. And then lastly, the gingerbread festival. Yeah, definitely taste the ginger and molasses, cinnamon. It's nice, I think these need to brew a little bit longer. Like it's better if you let them brew a little bit longer. And they're really, they're, they're all three of them are actually really strong flavors. So they work really well on their own. Like if you, let's say you are trying to resist having a snack with your afternoon tea, just having one of these might really satisfy that wanting of a sweet <laughs> because they have so much complexity they're really nice they're really really nice so sadly they have caffeine in them so I mean like I would love to have one of these after teaching all day and in the evening but that would definitely keep me up so you know a nice a nice Christmas afternoon tea I would say for these ones well I think we'll finish it off with a little Christmas carol and then I will let you go Let's see, what other Christmas carol can we do? Um, what about, try and remember the ones that I've been practicing. I uh, can't remember, <laughs> I know green sleeves. <laughs> Let's do green sleeves. Mm. Our Christmassy Yuletide um, Hanukkah <laughs> virtual studio circle is this Friday. So that is, what day is it? Let me look at my watch. See what day it is today. Um, goodness. Why is everything so difficult for me? <laughs> it's the 16th. It's December 16th. So Friday, December 17th is going to be our virtual studio circle. And that is our monthly get together. Um, you can join it on the Patreon community and that's a community that I teach to. 
out separately from individual lessons. So it's patreon.com slash violin viola masterclass. But every month we get together, we share what we've been working on for the month. Those that are that would like to share, you can just listen in, bring your cup of tea or something. And um, it's also our time to, to talk about musical topics or to sh or and to share what we've been practicing during the month. It's kind of like a practice performance class. It can be for those that want to. So um, basically, if there if there is something that you're working towards and you want to practice performing, that's the time for that's our community time to do that. But this Friday, since it's kind of the, the holiday season, I'm gonna guide us through some stretches and breathing like I usually do. I'm gonna pull a magical fairy card for us. I always pull a fairy card for the for the month and um, we'll see what that is. And then I'll lead us through some, some Christmas tunes. And this month I was, um, ex I was shown some really cool like Spanish um, Christmas tunes. So La Nita Nana is the one that's popping into my head. There's another one I can't remember. And of course, Feliz Navidad. <laughs> but um, we didn't have to have the music for that one, but I could probably find that. So we're going to explore some Christmas carols. We're also going to explore some Hanukkah um, tunes. And so we'll have a little fun with that. I'll lead us through that. And then we can have some time to practice playing for each other. And then finally, we're going to have a little discussion and reflect on what we've learned this last year with music and think about some goals that we might have for the new year. And I have an, a special announcement I'm going to share with with everybody. And it's a really, it's special. It, I'm excited that I finally have come to this conclusion and feel ready to do something like this. So I'm going to share uh, my goals for the new year. And so that will be December 17th, Friday at 7.30. And you can join that on the Patreon page, um, Virtual Studio Circle tier. And in January, you're gonna see, if you visit the Patreon page again, that there's a group class tier. So every other Thursday evening, I'm gonna teach a violin group class. We're gonna cover all the basic things and I have three books for you to pick up. Um, I can't, I'm gonna see if I remember off the top of my head, but um, I do, I will list that on the tier so you'll see exactly what you need to get. Um, but it would be the Shradiak School of Violin Techniques, book one. And we also need a Leopold Hour Graded Course of Violin Playing book one. We've been doing a group class with that book specifically for the last year at least. And then we also would need the Royal Conservatory of Music's preparatory level repertoire for the violin. So those three books I think are the ones, although refer back to the tier <laughs> in January. I will make that live on January. And that way you can have two group classes every month. They're an hour each. And you'll also be able to get the link to the Virtual Studio Circle monthly gathering. And you'll get all of the weekly mini lesson videos that I post every Monday. And also get all of the updates for all of the things that are going on with the studio. And um, themes that we've been learning, tidbits um, of what we've been learning in lessons and conclusions I've come to, revelations, whatever. So there's a lot of content for you on Patreon. It's Violin Viola Masterclass, patreon.com slash violin viola masterclass. And Patreon is a, a website app that you can find lots of content creators on. So it's not just for me. It's like a it's like the YouTube for content creators, but you can you you have specific tiers that you contribute content for and you, you get a great community. So anyways, thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me for the tea party. And thank you for letting me practice my harp. <laughs> Send me some good vibes for my next Friday playing the harp at, at Silver Moon Antiques. And I'm gonna dress up as angelically as possible and, and just like play the harp, it'll be magical. So mwah, I will see you all very soon. And Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy Yule and all of that. Mwah. Bye.